it's Penny and the Professor. Here's Penny. He brought pleasure and joy to the people he'd greet. Rap a tap tap. Think of that. Oh, hi. We didn't see you guys there. We were just looking over um, a part of the book that Penny had a question about. So what was your question again, Penny? Oh, yeah. Good question. So she was wondering what it means when he brought pleasure and joy to the people he'd greet. And I was thinking, since we're taking a deeper exploration into the text and into words and pictures, that maybe we could look at the illustration and see what that might mean. So what do you notice about the people's faces in this illustration, Penny? What do you notice? What do you notice? Yeah, that's right. So they're smiling. So they have smiles on their faces. So I think that might mean that pleasure and joy means that they're happy or and that smiling shows that how we would know that, right? So that's called an expression. When somebody makes a face, like makes their face look like this, that's a happy expression, or maybe they look like this. That's a sad expression, or maybe they look like this. <sighs> That's an angry expression. So an expression is how your face looks when you feel a certain way. And if we look at the people's faces in these pictures, we can tell how they're feeling by looking at their expressions. That was a really good question. Let's look at some other expressions in our text. I mean, that seems like a really good way to take a deep exploration into this book. So let's turn to page eight. Here we go. So we're on page like seven and eight, and it says, he danced past doors. Some were open, some closed. Rap a tap tap. Think of that. So you can see a lot in this illustration, right? How might the people be feeling in this part of the text? What do you guys think? Hmm. Oh yeah, that guy looks kind of mad, doesn't he? So there's one guy who's got his, like this, and he looks angry. His face does not look happy. He doesn't look like he's happy. This guy's waving and he's got a happy face, so he might be feeling happy. His expression looks like a smile. And then this, this lady and this little kid both have happy faces and their mouths are smiling and they're waving, so their expressions show me they're happy. So I could see how our expressions or their expressions might show how they're feeling. Bojangles looks happy. He's got a smile on his face. Nice. I also noticed some vocabulary on this page that was interesting to me. It says, he danced past doors. Some were open, some closed. How can we tell which doors were open and which ones were closed in this picture? That's right. There's like a red door back in the back that's closed. It's got like a big red stripe on it. And then like this green door where the guy that looks not happy, has, he looks like he has his door closed. There's one, there's even a sign on this window that says closed. So we would know that's closed because it says closed. Oh yeah. And then this lady and her kid and this, little, this guy, their doors are definitely open because they're holding it open. So yeah, so we know closed would be shut, right? And then open would be open. I wonder if that means something more. What do you guys think? I think so too. So let me tell you guys a little bit about this. Now remember we were talking about the Great Depression and we know that Bojangles danced to make people happy and all of that, but there's some more to the history of Bojangles and his dancing and about these open and closed doors. And I think if we took a little bit of a look into that, we might even learn more about our book. So the authors chose and the illustrators chose to make open and closed doors on purpose in this scene because they wanted to point out that sometimes doors were closed to Bojangles and sometimes they were open. And what that means is there was an open opportunity for him to make people smile or talk to people. And then in some places, the doors were closed and he wasn't allowed to go there. And back in that day, it was like the 1920s. So this was really a long time ago. Um, it wasn't even okay for him to go in certain places just because of the color of his skin. So because he had darker skin, some people wouldn't let him in to their building or to their business. And so what happened during that time was him and a lot of other African-American artists, so dancers, writers, musicians, jazz mu musicians, they all lived in Harlem, which is a part of New York City. And they got together and they made a plan to show people about the celebration of their heritage and of African-American culture. And so they brought 
music and stories and poetry and um, dancing and everything out into the world from Harlem and it was called the Harlem Renaissance which is like a really cool moment in history where a lot of those creative writers and dancers and poets and singers they helped everyone know about their American heritage and it helped open up doors for them it helped open up more of a welcoming environment for everybody for them back then and into the future so it was a really cool time for everybody um, they had to be really creative and use their imaginations like you guys do when you're writing a story or drawing a picture or imagining what's happening and using your senses to figure things out and some writer one of the writers that i read about said there was an explosion of creativity at that time and in that case it was a very good thing because it not only opened doors but it made people discuss like what have good conversations like we were talking about with crafty where they could really discuss about ways that they could have more opportunities for everybody and not base it on the color of their skin so that was a pretty amazing part of our story that is shown in this illustration if we just look a little bit deeper so i thought that was pretty amazing what i'd like you guys to do today is take a deeper exploration into some of the illustrations and see what else you can reveal in rap -a tap tap look through the pictures and think about is Bojangle standing still in this picture? Is he dancing in this picture? What are the expressions on the people's faces in the picture that you choose to pick? Don't use the page that we used. Don't use page seven and eight, but look through some different ones. And then tell me what you find out from the illustrations. What else did you learn from looking deeply and closely at those illustrations in the book, Rap -a Tap Tap? Can't wait to hear what you notice in the illustrations. Give us some more details so we can find out what can be revealed for Cassie.